two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven measures with how many bars? One, two, three, four, five bars, right? Those are bars. Oops. Let's get you in there again. Bars. These are the measures. Okay. Okay. Those are the bars. You know. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, So there you go. <clears throat> Don't want to strain your brain too much right, by sticking on that too much. Now we'll go right here. But now we'll go back just in case we're not. These go on here. Over here is what these are. They go over here. Over here is where these go. Over here. <laughs> okay, let me get it. See, I was trying. It's hard for me not to be a little silly sometimes, mm -hmm. but here we go. Um, this is a note, right? And you see that little flag on there? That little flag right there? Uh, you know, it has a quarter note head on there. When you see it's is bald head and black. <laughs> okay. A note has three parts, right? A note has three parts. They are the head, right? The head. And uh, the stem, right? And the flag. So that's what you got right here. That's what that is right there. Are you, you with me? You rolling with me? You, 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 you sticking in there, hanging in there a little bit? Okay. Now, it says notes may be placed in the staff. Yeti, that's yes, inside there. In between the bars, bar the staff, right? Bam! That's your staff, your bass clap, right? Now, we went earlier. Where do you see that? sitting at well let's just see that was a c e and g okay so where would that be yeah one seven that's on your e right then you have another one Sitting above the staff, right? Sitting above the staff. I bet you can't guess what that is. And it's on a line with G Wiz, right? Now watch this here. A C E G uh, B. And guess what that line would be? C. Why sweetly? Why sweetly? Okay, then you have one way down here. Below the staff. What do you imagine that could be? Well, let's just see. If that one's an A and this was a G, what comes before that? There'd be a space. That's F. And look at there. That would be E. That would be an E. Okay. Oh, it way up here is E, right? See how it changed? That number when it gets to the... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See, G is there. And that open space would be a G. When it gets to there, that's the octave. So you see how it changed? If it was on a line, it'd be in a space. Once it gets past the staff or below it or past uh, the seventh uh, note.
in the measure, right? But well, we'll get to that later, what that is. In that. But that's what you got there. That's an E. C. E. Where's C at on here? From here? Can anyone tell me? Okay. If that's a C there, it's certainly one before that. So you got A. C. C would be right here. So it doesn't hurt to go back. You know, from the beginning and catch up to where you are here. Okay, there's E here. Right? There's E down here, below the staff. Now where's the E? Well, let's just see. C, A, C, E. There's the C, a E right here. Right? Now once we get way up here and way out, well, this is the lowest it's gonna go right here. Right? Anything lower, you can't do nothing with unless you go way down low, which is down here. Which will be fifth string. And that's a B by itself. <clears throat> now, here we see uh, a note will, will bear the name of the line or space it occupies on the staff. The location of a note in above or below the staff will indicate pitch. Pitch. The highest or lowest of the tone. Right? Alright. Now, <clears throat> tone, a musical sound, correct? Now, let's get to it. This is a whole note right here. See where you got that open head just there. Okay? Now, it says the head is hollow, right? It doesn't have it. It's not filled in. It does not have a stem. And it doesn't have a stem. Right? 